Watkins, an absolute nightmare of a day today. What's your take on it? Yeah, it's horrendous, really. It's probably the maddest game of football I've been involved in. Um, I hope uh, Ethan's all right. It looked quite quite bad. Um, hopefully he's all right. I'll give him a message later, and, and if he replies, he does. But um, And then, obviously, Mitch had quite a, a bad knock to the knee, so hopefully his isn't too bad. Find out of that. But, yeah, no, the performance was poor. Um, I don't really know what to say, to be honest. I can apologise, but I don't think that will do anything to for the fans I, I, I am sorry I'm sorry on behalf of the boys I'm sorry on behalf of the club um, but I can say that we are trying we are 100% bought into to to trying to put this right but we're just in a real sticky situation at the minute and I don't know whether it's uh, the boys or the mentality but we need to, to find find a way we're lucky that obviously Kings in only got a point today um, so, going into the next nine games, we need to be a bit more positive um, as a team and as a club um, and the fan base to try and try and support us and, and get us out of this situation. Because of course, you can understand fans' frustration. You know, the players more than anyone will be frustrated with the way things are at the minute. But the worst thing we can do now is you know get on each other's backs and you know not get the results we're all after and then moving forwards. Yeah, definitely. Like we can all see the the I've been here nearly five years now and I'm I'm as frustrated as anyone. Um, and there's people here who've been supporters for 30, 20, 30, 40 years, so I can I can understand the frust frustration. But we do need them. Um, I've been in this situation before with Gary, and and I come out and said the same things. We do need the the supporters. Um, all I can say is that I'm I'm going to try my best to to get us out of this situation. I'm sure every player is as well. Um, but we need everyone on Saturday. Of course, you know, it is a young group as well, so it will be a difficult time for everyone. I'm not using that as an excuse, but like you say, we do need everyone. It needs to be sooner rather than later. Yeah, we do, we do need everyone. Um, we are a young group, but I think, if anything, having a young group is a bit more positive because there should be no fear. Um, I feel like today there was a bit of fear. We started off the game OK, then we got unlucky with a goal, um, and then we went sort of back into that sit-off and just deal with, deal with um, attack v defence, basically. We need to have a bit more bravery on the ball, I think. Um, we, we go long a lot, I think, as the players. We need to, to be a bit more braver in possession and, and, and try and create some more opportunities because we're not scoring at home in I don't know how many games is not good enough. Of course, obviously, I know it's a silly question, but what's the atmosphere like in there? Obviously, I know it's going to be down and a bit doom and gloom, but it's on people like yourself and Kev that need to bring the boys up and hopefully look for a response next week. Yeah, no, like, it's, it's for me, it's quite frustrating because... Like we do, the gaffer and Tom, they give us everything. They prep everything in 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 regards to the opposition, in regards to in possession, in training, and then in training we look decent, and then it comes down to a match, and we 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 don't do the things we've done all week in training. So it's it's something mentally that we need to just switch, and and hopefully we can we can start on Saturday. Of course, it's another home game, and ultimately it's going to be a chance to come back and hopefully look for another result. Yeah, obviously Boreham Wood, I don't know how they got on today, but um, they're obviously they, we know what they're about. Um, but we're at home, we should be the team that's stamping our authority. Like I said, we've got nine, nine cup finals to go. We need to, be, we need to go put Boreham Wood in their place. We need to be on the front foot. We need to be playing in their half. I, I don't want to be sitting in our own half at home, soaking up pressure. Um, I think that's the message from the gaffer and the assistant that at home. He wants, to, he wants to be more front foot. He wants to be more possession-based. Um, the message from them too is that. So um, for the fans that think it's not, it's the gaffers wants to sit in. It's not. For some reason, we do as players we just sit in, and that, I don't know whether that's not not listening to the gaffer or or it's a fear thing. But we need to take it, take a bit of responsibility ourselves as players, and we need to step up the pitch. We need to because it's it's down to us on the pitch. The gaffer and Tom can only give us a clear message. Um, and talk to us through the game, but it, it's down to us players to, to do that. I was going to ask you, is it a responsibility of the players, the manager, or is it just a group collective that need to just up their game moving forwards? No, do you know what? I think sometimes it just takes something, a special moment, like a Tommy Willard running through three or four players to, to pick up the fans, pick up the players, or a big tackle. It just, I feel like we're just very flat at the minute, and it's just like going through the motions. I, we need we need three or four just to, to make some big moments in the game to just turn the turn the pressure onto the other side. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.
Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.